Man, that was so good, man, Robert. You're too good, man. You're too good. You deserve a raise, man. We'll get you a taller stool. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get you going. That's it, man. We'll have to do it. Lower to the floor, yeah. We'll do that. Okay, just a quick announcement because uh, Mr. Salerno was in such a hurry. He wanted me to announce the information for the free or low-cost student insurance. You can contact area code 626-258-4829. The number, once again, is 626-258-4829. You want to take advantage of it? Take care of your kids. If you, don't, if you can't afford the insurance, they'll help you. And these programs are, you know, very rare, far and few in between. Like he said, they're the pilot. No other school has it. No other district has it. So you want to take advantage of it. 626-258-4829. Okay. Now, we have these two very distinguished looking gentlemen. Um, I don't know where they came from, <laughs> but we'll find out where they're going. And this is Jose, right? Yes. Jose. And this is Raul. Yes. How are you doing? Arturo. Good You're to see you. You have to from <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. You applaud for you. yourself. It's okay. <laughs> well, that's allowed in here. So, I know you guys, uh, they brought this room. Nifty. I don't know if you can see the poster. Can you see that? Okay. We get a good shot of that? Yeah. Okay, man. It's the uh, Aslan 5K Classic, man. It's been going on for, what, over 20 years? Something like that? Yes. And you guys are responsible for it. You're the troublemakers, huh? We are. We are. Okay. Fortunately or unfortunately. <laughs> no, no, fortunately, because like I said, I, I was telling people, I know it's over here at East L.A. College, and I know there are people out there saying, wait a minute, this is Almonte. What does that have to do with East L.A.? Well, I'll tell you, children, what it has to do with it is the fact that we're planning something like that over here in Almonte. So you might want to go check it out, get an idea, might put some input, put it in your mind, let your kids know, and these gentlemen are going to be the ones responsible to help us get that off the ground. So tell us a little bit about how did it all start? Where did it begin? Well, I actually started as a mentor, as a runner for Azatlan. Azatlan really started its roots back in 1972. Uh, Carlos Alfaro, who was one of the founders of the track club, mm. uh, wanted to just put together some programming to keep youth busy, keep them active and give them a chance. And it started out of that. And so I got involved uh, when I was taking time off in college in the summer to mentor some of the children in, in the track club back in 1987. That's when I first learned about what Aslan Track Club, you know, is doing in the community. So then, uh, you know, once I graduated from college and I went off to graduate school and I was done with that, uh, I said, you know, I continued to work with, with some of the kids and I was really privileged to really learn from what Carlos Alfaro had been doing with this organization. And in fact, he still continues to do that. Uh, he's currently the coach going on his 36th, 37th year of coaching, and uh, we're proud of that. So that's really where the roots started for Aslan. Aslan Athletics now, it's called, mm -hmm. uh, has dedicated itself to identify gems. We call them gems uh, in the community. And these gems are agencies like the Autobahn Nature Center at Debs Park, which provides free programming to youth and to elders to learn about you know, the importance of, of preservation conservation. Uh, there's agencies like the Aquarium of the Pacific. We just had their first annual 510K run in the aquarium. Brought people to the aquarium. They learned about important initiatives that are in place to protect our mammal life in the ocean, things of that nature. So uh, these are just some of the events we do. Um, I think now we've evolved to endorse agencies that do tremendous work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, East Los Angeles College is where it all started for Azatlan. Right, right. And that's why we really pay special uh, attention to that organization with the Aslan Track Club. Uh, this event's going to also benefit the East Los Angeles Health Task Force Clinic, which right. has its own history. I don't know a lot about it, but I know Raul. Here's one of my colleagues that we brought on board to bring in an entertainment factor to He's what we do. Your colleague, I thought he was like your younger brother. Well, you know, he ages nicely. What can I say? I know, he's, <laughs> He's the Benjamin Button of yeah. uh, activities. Huh? That sounds good. So you're the entertainment coordinator kind of guy, huh? Well, yes. I, I'm very fortunate to be involved with uh, Mr. Uh, Jose and the uh, group here. And, um, you know, my uh, contribution is to, uh, as uh, Jose stated, is to bring uh, a little bit more value, bring some excitement, bring some entertainment. Uh, and I'll tell you uh, what's going to happen on this particular day, on the um, 20, uh, 25th of November. I'm bringing individuals that 
uh, will, uh, such as uh, a great two-time world champion, uh, Bobby Chacon. Who, oh, wow. Yeah, he's all excited to be and uh, join us and add to the um, activities here. Also, I, ha I have a gentleman who's a professional singer who sang many years with Mr. Javier, uh, este, um, Mr. Vicente Fernandez. So oh, he's wow. a good friend of mine who's a good singer. It's coming down to uh, add to the music. Also, we have um, a beautiful a car show that's going to be part of this, this afternoon, uh, morning, and, and into the afternoon. Also, we have a gentleman who is a uh, writer, author of a great book that I think many people should go out and buy it. That's the uh, Mr. Eddie Morin, who wrote a book regarding the uh, Mexican-American uh, Vietnam veterans mm -hmm. and who didn't get recognition. Uh, the book, by the way, I'm going to put a plug for him. Is, plug, uh, plug it away, please. Valor and Discord, a wonderful book, and I read it twice, and it's just uh, heartbreaking. It's not. It's not like Among the Valiant, is it? Is the, it a well, the, 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 yes, the father is Raúl Morín, yeah, who right. wrote Among the Valiant, so he's going to be there. Which I have that monument <coughs> right there. If you ever go to East LA, it's yes. right between where uh, uh, Indiana. Indiana and Lorena meet. You got it. Yes, right at the very point. True. Yeah, Excellent. Have it there. Yeah, well. So See what this happens. is the excitement, uh, having individuals to, you know, uh, have the, uh, s the groups there to come out there and enjoy these festivities and meet these young, wonderful people. And also we will have the uh, group of uh, Indian dancers, uh, the Aztec dancers, will give the, um, the giving the, the, the good luck for the runners and after the run, they'll, they'll entertain and, and make uh, the people who come here to see the fight carry and the participants to enjoy the afternoon and you know we'll have food and maybe tamales and let them we'll have food. Yeah, that's what he's like, Come on down, man. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the excitement part of that. that I bring in, you know, and I share that in uh, my contribution, and it's, I'm excited to be there because I've been a runner since high school. So I'm still running, by the way. Since mm -hmm. 1954, I've been running. 55. You must be tired, man. Yeah. I beg your pardon? You must be tired by now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run since 1954. At least take so, a break, right? Anyhow, so that's what we do. So uh, uh, I'm so proud to be and support this group that helps, puts money back to the communities. Uh, that's beautiful. That's a, We're you looking know, forward to do this too, also for El Monte. So we'll, we, when we do have this event, I think it's going to be a real exciting It's going to be a uh, smash. Event. So oh. looking forward to so invite all the people from El Monte, from Los Angeles, East LA, uh, come on down and have a great they, time. They have this the route series. called the <laughs> Emerald Necklace out here, which is up by the river, and it, it's a whole track. That comes all the way around, and they were so they already have it mapped out. I was doing some research. Wow. Okay. So wonderful. Know, and uh, like I said, you know the great publicity we can get for this to help you know the city and help you know agencies here, and definitely unify this community because they could really they have so great. much to, to offer here, and and it always reminds me of the way East LA was about 20 years ago. You know things were just bubbling and people were like looking for things to do and all this stuff, and you know and, and people like yourselves have have brought that to the forefront. And we want to have that here. We definitely want to have that here. Part that of way. why we also, you know, have done this and is that we have very talented people on our team and most of these people commit their time. It's really not a money maker. What we want to do is we do want to bring not like our channel. <laughs> you know, bring 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 communities together and our events are really inclusive. Mm -hmm. They're inclusive of a wide range of agencies. As a matter of fact, on November third we're having another event. Uh, which which supports uh, Keith Sarge Gibbs, mm -hmm. and he's a, a, a person that works in the inner city with youth at the middle school, high school level, as an example. But he incorporates a boot camp concept to kids, you know, being disciplined in a healthy way. So our events are about being inclusive, and that's what makes us really attractive to a lot of nonprofit agencies, right? Because they know that we are. It's important. It takes it takes a community. But it also takes the surrounding communities mm -hmm. to support our youth and empower them. So our, our job is not easy because we have to identify the ones that we believe are deserving of right, an right. event. And I think El Monte is deserving of an event. And we, we, will ma we made a commitment to support El Monte and bring a unique event where people will enjoy. And it would hopefully bring other communities to the location to learn about the history of El Monte. I just learned that El Monte has been around for almost 100 years, right. which is incredible to me. So these are, I think, important reasons. It's, it's about the fundraising for the agency, but it's also about people coming together and be active, network together, and get outdoors. So that, that's what we're about, and we're proud to say we have seven events 
that we have in Southern California throughout the year, and we are endorsed by so many different partners. Uh, you know, you may know Charles Trevino, who's our mm -hmm. current director of the Upper San Gabriel Municipal Water District. We have, uh, you know, Mayor Cacciotti in pa South Pasadena, who endorses our events. We have wonderful sponsors like Molina Healthcare is one of our main sponsors. Of course, all the different venues that endorse what we do, like the Boy Scouts of America has recently come on board and they see what we do. So we're, we're really proud of all of that, but it really takes the community to give us an opportunity to put together some special fundraising events. And we can compete. It doesn't have to be somebody from the outside coming in. We have a lot of competitors out there that try to make it impossible for nonprofit agencies to figure out a way of keeping and making dollars for them. And this is what we bring. We bring a, a very, very uh, uh, efficient way of managing an event because we keep most of our operations in-house. And that's what we're proud of. Uh, we actually just trained and, and prepared Homeboy Industries to also do their own event. We did an event. Father ev Greg Boyle. Greg Boyle. So we put an event for them, uh, a Homeboy uh, 5K Run Walk. We started it two years ago. And our organization helped bring over $20,000 to that organization. And now we, we decided, you know what, you're ready to go and create your own event. So as a result of our support to them, now they're doing their own 5K run. And that's what it's about. It's about that's giving what, back in that way. That's, so, what, that's what you need. You I know because I, mm -hmm. I know the statistics when they, with all the, the meltdown of uh, the economic situation, it takes $4 million to run Homeboy Industries. $4 million. And, you know, they're not getting, they're not getting anymore. So they need people like yourselves that are able out there to mentor, if you will, how they can go about raising money for themselves. You know, because you want them self-sufficient. You want everybody self-sufficient. The old story, you know, feed a, you know, feed a man a fish, you feed him for a day, right? Give him a fish yeah. and teach him to be a fisherman. He's fed for the rest of his life. And that's what you guys are doing. And it's a beautiful thing that you're doing. Yeah. You know, and we're hoping to cash in on that. And uh, he's so serious. I like, I like him. He's, he's serious. <laughs> so see, it's like, he's dynamic. And this guy's laughing. He's having a good old time. He's having a good, good old time. time. Hey, that's, that's great. You know, we have talent here. <laughs> We got talent. Yes, you do. You got yes, to hire my man here. Uh, you got to get him in. Sure. Sure. Uh, I'm coming sure. after you. We'll do sure. we'll yeah. some work, man. Uh, take Absolutely. Care. You know, this, guy, this mm. guy's a brilliant man. He's an engineer in his, his daytime. He's real is life. Good, man. You know, and then he plays all this beautiful music. And Absolutely. We've got, we got a lot of other friends, too, that I know would step up and do some stuff for, uh, you know, for these kind of situations. Great. And, you know, anything we can do to help. That's why we have you here on, here on the show. Thank you. We need that. How are we doing time-wise back there? Really? That much? <laughs> I like they always go to sleep. I have to do that every <laughs> once in a while because it's out of control room. Okay, you said thir that's 13, I hope, or it's four. Cause <laughs> so, you know, you know if you go to our website, uh, uh, you know, our website. What's the website? AzatlanAthletics.org. And it's a, you know, it's A-Z-T-L-A-N. It's AzatlanAthletics.org. People will be able to view all eight events that we have out there in the community. They can go on there and also view the beneficiaries and what they do and why they do it. So all of that can be accessed, of course, through the information superhighway. But of course, they can always call. I was going to say you got, a, you got a number here, right? A, yeah, six two six seven five five eight four eight nine number. Okay, number once again one six two six seven five five eight four eight nine. So you can come talk to this young man because it looks like he gets lonely. <laughs> so he wants to talk to people. Well, you know, he wants to talk to people. I tell you, there's so much going on, I know. and we have a line of nonprofit agencies waiting for us to help. But we also have to cultivate and create our own teams. Right. And that's why, you know, we're thankful that you invited us to your show. Thank you. uh, because we need to begin to continue to cultivate talent. There's a lot of strengths in our group, and we want to continue to build on our strengths and identify talent out there because we can do it. We can, we can find ways of being self-sufficient without government intervention. Now, that's if we idea. need that, then that's well, that's okay, too, because... I, might, I, I do work, I do other work. I work for the county, mm -hmm. and, you know, I've been in the child safety business you for over 20 years. What do you do? I, actually, I supervise a, a project in Skid Row. I currently work with homeless families, oh, bless you. and it's uh, through the 1st District Glowing Molina's office. And so mm -hmm. our work down there is to really stabilize families and move them out into stable housing and following up with them, you know, not having them recycle back into Skid Row. So that's what the project I'm working on now. I work with a lot of collaborative agencies down there you know you right. need rescue mission midnight mission we work with the county also with the department of mental health and department of public social services PBSS. and so i do that type of work with them and, it, and it's a good work because we're working as a team we're collaborating with the community the community now is being more understanding and respectful of what we do as a county 
you know, and they realize that, you know, we have to maximize our resources, and we can do it. And so that's a little bit of work of what we're doing, I do for the county. Fantastic. Let's so get a round of applause because there's only right. like two left here. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a hero. Man. See, and this is what I love about our show because we get a chance to meet all these heroes. And I, you know, they always refer unsung heroes. Okay. And that's what it is. It's only because people don't know. We're in a society now where everybody's so disenfranchised from each other. You don't realize that just yes. around the block or just around the corner, you got people like this young man that can't get enough of helping homeless families. He has to step up and help agencies that need help. Okay. See? And they got this young man over here that just having a good old time. <laughs> so, you know, this is what it's about, though. See, but it, it's the blending of different talents yeah. that make it all, all roll. And that's why our show, humbly, I may say, we're out there to just bring out this information for people. And I'd like to thank, at this moment, our city council for bringing our channel back. You know, you, you know them all, our, our mayor, Mr. Quintero. Of course, you have Mr. Patel. You have, um, you know, Vicky uh, Martinez. You got Norma Macias, and of course the ever lovable, if not infamous, Jay Gomez, the right honorable mayor pro tem. And these guys, you know, they had the vision to allow us to get this channel, and this is the result of it. These are the kind of good things we get out there. We got you guys on here. We got a talented man like Robert Colvin who plays music, and people didn't know. You know, they see him like at our events, and they say, hey, you know, and now we're getting him out there. He's meeting nice people like you. It's networking. Like you say, you collaboration is what makes it work. And it's communication. So we're trying to neutralize. Call us the anti-social network. Okay? Because what we're doing is we're trying not to separate people. We're trying to bring them together. And you guys are just a prime example of that. You know? And I'd like to invite you guys if you get a chance. I don't know what your weekend's like or if, if you even have a weekend. You know, I know how that goes. But at uh, Rudy's Baja, Grill right there on East Los Angeles, right off Pomona. That's Rudy, Rudy from the old yes, Pasta sir. House days. Yeah. Uh, we're having uh, this very talented young lady. Her name is Tachita, and she's going to be singing doing her first concert this weekend on Saturday. And you might want to go check it out. She does a real good thing. We're going to run a real quick. Can we run about a minute and a half of that? So what I mean? Good. I'm glad we can. So, see, I got you know secret <laughs> power. I, I know what they're doing. <laughs> Are they back? <laughs> now okay we're on tv now no secrets okay where's, where's the where's the superintendent <laughs> no he's gonna keep you after school man no but that's uh that's tachita we just gave you a little wow. taster on that she's gonna be there saturday at rudy's baja grill which is right off uh the 60 freeway off of pomona and atlantic uh you want to go down and check her out she was on our show last week uh promoting another uh performance she was doing real sweet lady we're gonna try to get her to come out here to beautiful el monte california uh, just to delight the, the people out here when we start doing our fundraisers and our Wonderful. events that are coming out here, you know. And hopefully we'll have her backed up by Robert Colvin. Hey, wow. we, Robert. Keep, we bring Robert into the mix wherever <laughs> we can. I always back the home team. So basically, you guys got the 5K coming up on the 25th, right? Yes. 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 And, you know, each, each of our events are really unique, too. So we have something called Take the Challenge out of these seven events. If, if people who... You know, one out of every four, and I believe it's two out of out of really four uh, children of color are obese in this country. Yes. 
you know and and so then part of what we also try to do is make these events fun for everybody so each of our events is really unique we have when you go online you'll see one of them is up on the trail the other one is in south pasadena running down historic route 66 the other one is down in east l.a running in a historical stadium that hosted the olympics in 1984 you know the other one takes place at the boy scouts of america uh, you know, Firestone Reservation Camp and involves camping with the family. So these are really unique events, packages for families to enjoy. And so I think if people try one or two, I just think they'll continue to just be a part of them. And part of our commitment to City of El Monte is to bring something unique where people will come and they'll embrace the event because it's special to the community and it's special to the people coming for because of the entertainment and the history. So, you know, I mean, so this event, the Aslan 5K Classic, it's, uh, we're proud of the event and we hope to have you there as our guest and have uh, your, you know, have everyone here attend and be a part of it. Well, that's a Robert. Robert's very busy sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> you know, he's, he's very booked, you know, here, Hollywood, you know, the Riviera. You know about Robert. He's busy, man. He's a busy man. That's why. Well, I want to thank you for coming on. Uh, the number there is 1-626-755-8489. Okay, and you know, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, you for inviting us. Job. Thank you. Right, you. What a grip, man. Bring yeah. my hand, man. <laughs> I want to thank you, too, <laughs> folks, for turning, uh, tuning in. I want to thank Adriana in the Out of Control Room, uh, Diego, the go to man. We're sorry for little Jamie. I hope she's feeling better. Uh, of course, Eduardo, number one agent. And we got David, the new kid on the block. All right. He's doing a great job. And naturally, Mr. Robert Colvin. Our talented man that I we were so oh, pleased as punch I have them. So on that note, we're gonna let him take it away. I just want to remind you once again: do not drink and drive. We want you back for Almani tonight. We may not have a show next week because it is Halloween. We wouldn't want to interrupt with the little kitties, and I, I think our show is scary enough as it is. So <laughs> we'll just you know we don't see you next week. We'll see you in about two weeks, but we'll run some of the best of. And maybe a little special episode of a little piece that I did a few years ago just for trick-or-treats, okay? So to see you again, this is Arturo Esparza, Almani tonight. Take care. Be good to each other. All right, Robert. Bring us home, man. <laughs>